My name is Bilal, Bilal Salimi, and you are about to watch a monologue from a character named Phil from a play called Boy's Life by Howard Corder. Enjoy. I would have destroyed myself for this woman. Gladly, I would have eaten the garbage. I would have cut my wrists open. Under the right circumstances, of course, I mean, if she said to me, Hey, Phil, why don't you cut your wrists open? Well, come on. But seriously, we clicked. We connected on so many levels right off the bat. We, we talked about God once for three whole hours. I don't know what good it did, but that intensity. And the first time we went to bed, I didn't even touch her. I didn't want to. Do you understand what I'm saying? You know I played it very casually because... All right, I've had some rough experiences. I'm the first to admit it, but... After a couple of weeks, I could feel that we were right there. So I laid it down. Everything I wanted to tell her. And she said to me, she said, Nobody should ever need another person that badly. Do you believe that? Nobody should ever need. What is that? Is that something you saw on TV? I pour my heart on the table and you give me Oprah Winfrey? Nobody should ever need, need. I'm telling you I love you. Is that, is that wrong? Is that not allowed anymore? And so what if I did need her? Is that so bad? All right, all right, crucify me, crucify me. I needed her. So what? I don't want to be by myself. When I'm by myself, I feel like I'm going out of my mind, I do. I sit there and I'm thinking, forget it. I'm not gonna make it through the next 10 seconds. But I do. I make it through the 10 seconds. But then I have to do it all over again because these seconds, they keep coming, they keep floating by while I'm waiting for something. I don't know what, uh, a car crash, uh, a nuclear war, something. That sounds awful, but at least there would be this instant where I knew, I knew that I was alive. Just once. Because I look in the mirror and I can't believe I'm really there. I can't believe that that's me. It's like, it's like my body, right? My body is the size of, the size of the Statue of Liberty. And I'm inside of it. I'm in one of the legs, this gigantic hairy leg, and I'm scraping around in my, inside my own foot like I'm some tiny fetus, and I don't know who I am, and I don't know where I'm going, and I wish I'd never been born. Not only that, but my hair is falling out, and that really sucks.